said yesterday in 2020, has one focus, the health and well-being of Australians, their livelihoods, their jobs. He's struggling to breathe. Maybe he's already got it. Yeah, I don't know. Quite possibly. And ensuring that Australia bounces back better on the other side. That's our focus. That's what the government is intently been working on. From the outset, back in January, we moved to get ahead. We've been working hard to stay ahead. And it's important that we all keep our heads as well when it comes to how we're addressing these issues. Because whether you're shearing a lamb or you're packing a ham, as a matter of fact, I've got it now. That great Victorian bitter taste of this idiot. Every Australian has a role to play. Whether you're in a government, federal, state, local, whether you're an employer, whether you're an employee. Whether you're on the dole or whether you're <laughs> swindling money out of the coffers of dying people at a funeral home, we're here for you. Wherever you happen to be, we all have a role to play. To stay together, work together, to work through this very challenging time. And we all have a role to play. What, a toilet roll? Importantly, on the other side, because there is another side, uh, that we bounce back stronger than ever. I've got a great recipe for toilet roll cannelloni, if anybody wants it. The health response has always been our first response to the COVID-19 crisis that has been enveloping the world. It's a health crisis. It's a health contagion. It's a virus. And that's the first thing that around the world countries are working hard to address and to ensure that the health responses are in place to support our people. There are many other implications of this and the economic consequences of this are very serious, as I've already outlined on numerous occasions, and tomorrow the Treasurer and I will be making announcements in relation to that response. But today it is to outline the first response, which is always on the issue of our health preparedness and what we're putting in place to protect people's health. Today, uh, $2.4 billion. They always money can fix all illness, apparently. That's what they reckon. So I'm not going to give you any health tips or anything. He's just going to tell you they're injecting billions of dollars from your pocket back into the system to create the illusion that the economy isn't broken. Wow. Yeah, that, that's healthy. ...is being committed uh, in substantively demand-driven programs to support the health and well-being of Australians. Uh, just just under $1.2 billion of that will actually, uh, we anticipate... Be ...will actually make it to anywhere, much like any other money that we allocate to anything. Yeah. ...spent this financial year. Uh, particularly as the virus and its impacts ramp up in the months ahead. Uh, that health response... Yeah, it's going to ramp up, yeah? We're going to ramp it up. We're going to... What? <laughs> Aren't you going to contain it? I thought you were going to... Why even have any of this stuff in place if you reckon we're in June or July we're still going to have the problem? So what? you might as well keep the money, hang on to it and wait because it's not going to do anything covers the areas of primary care, uh, support in aged care, support in the hospital system, which I announced last week with the Health Minister, uh, that $500 million uh, in shared support with the states and territories, matched 50-50, uh, which, which the Premiers and I and Chief Ministers will be... They've got that money. They can't even afford to finish the tu tunnels here in Victoria because they've got no money, so where are they getting money for this? Uh, ...discussing again on Friday and investing in research. Everything from telehealth to testing to clinics, hotlines, um, ensuring people can get access to... The last thing you should do is get on a phone because it'll be contaminated with the virus anyway. See, you, there's no thought process here. The medicines, ensuring importantly that the most vulnerable parts of our community are very much in our attention and that not... And that's the old and the young, yeah? The very young. So, which you'd already have these plans already implemented without this extra virus, eh? Just means those who are elderly or frail and in care facilities, but... Uh, are probably going to die um, of natural causes even, um, of being old 
as they would uh, like any other year when there's a, a winter coming. The fact they can't afford to put the heating on in their houses because of the high electricity or energy bills, maybe you need to address that. Maybe that's why you're trying to inject that money in because the real reality is people have been shafted. Those who are in remote and parts of the, the country, uh, particularly those uh, in Indigenous communities, and there are specific measures that we're announcing today that go to those issues. We have a world-class health system. That is one of our great advantages. Uh, we have an economy and we have a balance sheet that enables us to address uh, this crisis. Um, have you seen the debt? You're actually in debt. You're just using a credit card, creating more interest payments that you're going to have to pay to the international banks, yeah? both in terms of providing for the health response as well as the many other responses, in particular uh, the response that is needed to address the challenge. Toilet paper response, yeah. ...in our economy. Of course, uh, this system will come under stress and it will come under strain. That is to be expected. Uh, these will not be usual times and usual demands on our health system. And so I, I anticipate there will be times where that will come under great stress. That is not a reason for, for, for alarm or, 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 or concern uh, because a plan and the resource and the preparedness and the professionalism about, of our health... What about the fact that those Chinese people making all those videos were all lies and they just hype that up and it's not even a related illness to this. This is all part of a global plan. System. Will, it, will it attend to those needs? And so it's important that as we go through the months that are ahead, uh, that we all uh, have confidence in that plan. Uh, I have great confidence in those, uh, particularly, obviously, uh, Dr Murphy and the, and the tremendous advice that he's provided, uh, together with all of his state and territory colleagues over these many weeks now. Uh, the state governments are also very focused on this, the premiers, the health ministers. Of course, our cabinet, led in the health area uh, by Greg Hunt, is doing exactly the same thing. It doesn't mean there won't be stresses and strains. It won't mean there won't be difficult times or days and, and waiting from time to time. Uh, but the surging of these resources into our health system, some two...